Hey guys, I'm back here with another unboxing, and this is actually a figure that I know a lot of you guys wanted me to unbox immediately after my previous video of my haul for Mandarake. This is a 1-6 scale figure of the Gotsu Matsuri. I probably said it wrong, but of course I say everything wrong. Uh, here's the illustration art for it. So it's I really like when the boxes come with the illustration art, so you can see what it's based off of. Uh, there you go, probably getting a big glare. And then, of course, here's the figure. Of course, I'm going to unbox it as usual. Just showing you the box so that's the silhouette of how the figure is going to look and then this is a uh, how the figure actually looks another silhouette of course figure by sky tube one six scale really love sky tube uh even though i've been hearing some bad things about this figure but we'll find out ourselves so let's just go ahead and get this unboxed and see how it kind of turns out the accessories included in the box is going to be a second facial expression as well as her second chest so if you want to have her boobs exposed and her panties uh these panties are a little different as you can see it just kind of clips on on the bottom and we'll go over that a little bit later and then of course you have the second bottom so you can have both those the vibrator and the anal plug on now here's the first way that you can have her displayed fully closed and right off the bat you can see that there is a small gap in the very back where her butt is if you have the panties on and that's what I was going to say. Since this is a weird uh, way that SkyTube did where you install the panties instead of having the string that goes around her waist, I guess it was to make it more simpler in a way but they kind of I guess mis sculpted it somehow and they made it slightly too short but you can probably put something to have it holding up it just seems like a hassle so for me uh it's not really a big issue since i wasn't planning to have her displayed as with panties on i was just gonna have her uh naked it also really does suck that you do have to have that gap there if you do want to display her with panties because i mean you can see that with the this bottom that she has right here uh, if you don't want to have the toys plugged into her then it actually looks really nice and the garter belt uh, strings are very easy to attach to the stockings on this version. On the other version it's a little harder, I'll go over that in a bit. But here I mean you can display her like this and she looks amazing, really sexy, All the, her figure looks awesome. It's just that stupid little gap that is on the panties in the back. I really like how simple SkyTube made this figure uh, by swapping out the boobs. So usually in other cast off figures you have to actually remove all their clothes and go through the hassle and the chance of uh, swapping some of the paint on the figure which is really bad but on this one it's simple all you do is remove the arms and then swap out the chest and that's it the material used for the booze is a slightly softer pvc so it's a bit bendable and i believe they just probably made it so that you don't feel like you're going to break it trying to put them back in or swapping them out so that's just a small thing that i honestly appreciate that they did i have to say that aside from the issues that i pointed out so far i still really really love the details on this figure when looking at the illustration that's based off sky Two does a such a good job at pay attention to small details like her dress her hair her facial expression the way her arms are across uh, her boobs be, uh, being leaning on her hands and overall i really just love the dress that she's wearing it's amazing i like the color on it the design that it has and of course you know i'm a sucker for girls with uh stockings and a garter belt it's just really awesome so and even better you know how much i like that they don't have the stupid barbie effect and she has a fully detailed boba this one does and the best part of this figure that i really also like her booty it's amazing they did a very very good job of sculpting that part and it's my favorite part so that is also a reason why i wasn't planning to have her with panties on because i wanted to have that displaying so everyone can see it it's amazing to add to the amazing factor is having this second bottom where it has her gaping pussy and her butt so that you can have the vibrator installed as well as the anal plug but what's not so amazing is the hassle of having to put the garter belt strings onto her stocking. Now as far as I can tell, I believe SkyTube anticipated that this was probably going to be an issue because in the box you get a little paper that actually tells you you have to use a, either a heat gun or a hair dryer on the garter belt strings in order to stretch them out slightly and it will be easier to put them on. I did do that and it does make it easier to stretch them out and put it on but you also have a chance of tearing it, which is something I did accidentally. It's not a huge deal because I know I can fix it, but it really sucks that it's another thing that you have to deal with with this figure. Now for other people that do 
get this figure I recommend uh, using a heat gun or a hair dryer for a bit and then once you feel that it's getting hot just slightly stretch it carefully in where the sockets are and then put it either put a piece of tape or something very little and just have the figure cool down so that it can stay that long and it doesn't shrink back to the size it came with. Now to summarize, if I do recommend this figure, I would say that if you had your heart set that you really like this figure because you have version 1, you really like this girl, you like Sky 2 figures, then I would say yes still, but just know that if you plan to display her with the panties on, you're going to have to figure out a way to have them hold up and you don't see the gap. Or if you want to have her uh, the way I have her, then just know that you're going to have to use a heat gun or something to slightly stretch the stocking strings out. And if you're not comfortable with that, then uh, maybe uh, you can get someone to help you or uh, just don't get the figure if you don't want to have to deal with all that hassle. Or if you can find her on sale later on, then uh, that's also an option. But it's really up to you. Overall, I really do like the figure. Uh, even though it had those issues, it really sucks. But for me, like I said, it doesn't affect me that much because I wasn't going to display her with panties on. There's a small one millimeter gap from her foot to the floor, which isn't a big deal for me. But I know some people really don't like seeing that. But I hope you enjoyed this review of this 1-6 scale figure of Togetsu Matsuri by SkyTube. Let me know if you like more figures like this, more unboxings, more anime dojinshi hauls um, i should be getting another haul in a month or so we'll see i like more hand reader stuff because his stuff is awesome and then my alice got delayed as well as some other figure but i'll get those very soon be sure to follow me on twitter and instagram if you want to keep up with some figures that i have and the nendroids that i don't unbox but do post pictures on there